Today is January 26, 2015, and we're in Santa Ana, California at the headquarters of Pure Aqua. And right here we have a uh, containerized water treatment system that includes multimedia filtration, uh, chemical injection, and reverse osmosis. And we'll begin back with the uh, feed inlets and the pumps for feed and backwash. And here we have a pump skid that contains two pumps in parallel. Uh, one is for feeding the system while uh, fe or feeding the reverse osmosis system. The second pump is, is for added capacity uh, for the backwash of the multimedia filter. The raw water enters the container from the side here. The, the uh, pumps then uh, pressurize the feed through the multimedia filter. Just before mu multimedia filtration we have a coagulant dosing injection and then after the multimedia filtration the feed water is fed to the RO system uh, and then the feed water is injected with uh, a anti-scalant and there's a dechlorination injection here. Incidentally, the feed water outside of the container was chlorinated uh, to uh, uh, take care of any biological as well as oxidize some metals. And then uh, the reverse osmosis system, which is designed to produce 380,000 gallons per day of product water. Recovery rate is somewhere in the, in, in the vicinity of 70%. The feed water has a TDS of approximately 3,000 ppm and uh, the feed originates from, from a river in, uh, in Iraq. Uh, some uh, additional features, the uh, sediment cartridge housing, uh, we measure pressure before and after, and then there's a, a delta pressure gauge here as well that can stop the system based upon an unacceptable level of pressure drop. From the uh, sediment cartridge uh, filter, we go to the reverse osmosis booster pump, which will boost the pressure to approximately 175 psi. And, uh, and then there are cleaning connections on the RO system for uh, cleaning the membranes within the RO system. And the cleaning skid is not incorporated in the uh, container.